Greetings folks, this review is all about the Jumper T8 SG Multi Protocol Radio. This is a unique little radio with some amazing features. It's multi protocol which means that it can operate just about any model, any receiver that you can come up with. This has uh, four different chips in it that can bind and operate all of those different protocols. Protocols like Spectrum, the DSM2 and DSMX, Walkira, FR Sky, uh, Futaba, FlySky, FlySky 2A protocol, Hubsan, HiSky, Sima, Asan, and many, many more. That's amazing for just one little radio. It's powered by the Deviation TX open source firmware, which is awesome. It's very, very powerful. Uh, it's comparable to OpenTX, which I absolutely love. OpenTX is my favourite of all time. Uh, I haven't really mastered the deviation firmware, but it's very simple to set up a simple uh, model, as I'll show you. Being open source, it's always being uh, improved and updated, and you can download the latest version. And there's an enormous amount of information. This comes with a really good manual as well. Uh, enormous amount of information about the deviation software or firmware online. Just look for deviationtx.com and you'll have all the information you need to work out how to program this little radio. Let's have a look at it. What I really like about this is that it comes in an awesome little box. Transmitters get uh, thrown in backpacks, uh, thrown around the back of your car. This one comes already with a beautiful little box, not nice bright uh, neck strap there. Good quality, sort of semi-hard case. Here's the little radio. It is actually quite small. Uh, compare it to the FlySky radio. It's a little bit smaller than that one compared to the uh, Tyrannus QX7. It's a lot smaller. It almost feels like a toy radio, but let me tell you, it's much, much more than a toy radio. Number one, have a look at this. The antenna is removable. You can put a high gain antenna on if you want to for a greater range. Awesome, even the uh, Tyrannus radios don't have that, unless you mod them. Has four three position switches, two potentiometers or knobs, and the usual sticks. This one's mode two, thankfully, and all the trims. And a nice little LCD screen there. Now, to demonstrate, I have three different protocols here. I have the FR Sky X series receiver. I have a, a Fly Sky AFHDS 2A receiver and I have the old Turnergy receivers which uses the AFHDS not 2A protocol. So I'll show you how to bind to all these three different receivers and uh, show you how to ba set up a basic little model. Alright, we'll turn it on. You can see they get the deviation uh, splash screen, comes up with model 1. A uh, little trim display is here. Nice little Nice little uh, sound feedback. It does have vibration feedback as well. Three position switches up here, two knobs, sticks and trims. Uh, four way button pad here, enter and exit down here. Let's turn it on. Get the deviation splash screen. So we go straight to a model screen, let's hit enter. And we've got model menu, transmitter menu, USB and about deviation. Let's look at the transmitter menu. Transmitter configuration. Change the mode, change the language, calibrate the sticks. Uh, set the buzz level and the audio settings. Battery alarm is set for 6.6 .6 volts. At the moment I have a uh, 2S950 milliamp hour battery in here. Doesn't come with a receiver, doesn't come with a battery, but uh, any 2S uh, LiPo that, that fits in the case uh, it's good. Alarm interval, power down alert, backlight, 5, contrast, dimmer time. I might increase that. I don't like the dimmer keeping to go off. Two minutes. Pre-alert time, that's sort of when you start getting a countdown. Temperature Celsius, length meter, alert interval. Lots of stuff to learn about there channel monitor 
that shows you all your channel positions. We've only got channel four channels set up at the moment, so it's probably only showing four channels. Telemetry mon monitor. Don't know about telemetry at this stage. If you have telemetry sensors that work with this radio, I guess that's where you set it up. Range test. There we've got a range test. Very cool. This radio also has a variable power output. I have it set up as full power at the moment, 150 milliwatts, but you can go right down to micro watt settings, which is just amazing. Model menu, go down to USB. You can connect it to a PC via USB. Uh, I don't have PC, so I haven't been able to test that out. Let's go up to model menu, model setup. Uh, let's just go down mixers, timers, tele telemetry configuration, trims, data log, main page configuration, voice configuration, back to model setup. Let's set up a, a basic model anyway. Uh, you can load a file via USB I guess. Model 1, so let's call it something other than model 1. Uh, let's go down to delete. We'll delete all of that model 1 and then um, set up a, my own model name. I don't know, let's think of a silly name for a plane. So this is a, a 2D plane that I've called iForce for no particular reason. Uh, Icon, enter, it's a plane, you can choose a multi-copter or a heli, let's go for plane. Model type plane, multi-heli, it's definitely a plane. Transmitter power, now we can drop that down to whatever your local requirements are. Let's leave it at 100. PPM, no, this will be PWM, uh, FR Sky X. This is where we change the different trans, uh, receivers. I have three different receivers I can try with this one, and next button is, uh, there we go, we can flick through all the different types of uh, protocols, receivers. Hit the bind button. Uh, you can give it, with X series receivers, I think you can give it a, a unique number. Eight channels, the mixer graphical user interface, advanced. All right, let's get out of there, mixer. This is where you set up what each channel does, uh, and it comes pre-populated like this. That'll do me. That's enough for, to uh, fly a model. Uh, and none of the other channels have been set up. Let's see what happens here. All right, so none means that there's no channel there. Simple. Set up expo and dual rates there. I don't even know any of this stuff. I'm not going to worry about that to start off with. That's for the future. Just exit out of there. This is enough to fly a plane anyway. Exit out of there. Timers. You can set up different timers if you want. Timer one is set up as a stopwatch. Stop prop countdown. Countdown prop permanent. Stopwatch will do me. Excellent. All right. That'll do for the moment anyway. All right. So now we've got to do some binding. So I'm set up as the FR Sky X series binder. Uh, let's see what happens. X6R receiver. I have a 5 volt battery. I have a little switch on it too, just to make um, binding a bit easier. Model menu. Now I've got to make sure I've got the FR Sky X series there and get ready to bind. Now I'm going to plug this into my receiver, FR Sky X6R receiver. Get ready. So I'll push down the bind button. Click the radio bind. Turn it on. And that's all good. We're bound. Turn it on. There we go. We're good. Excellent. That was easy. Okay, let's try something else. I've got the AFHDS2A. That's this uh, FlySky version. So for that we need a bind plug. Put the bind plug in. Plug the battery in. Get it into bind. Turn it on. Hit enter. Let's see how that's gone. It seems to have been bound. Alright, let's plug it. Excellent, that one's worked as well. This is easy. Okay, we'll try the old Turnergy, which is the AFHDS protocol. Ah, oh, the FlySky protocol, that's what we want. 
Turn it on, we get the flashing light, hit bind, solid light, turn it off. <laughs> Very good. So that's three totally different protocols bound easily with way more power in the programming that I've touched on here. Uh, but as you can see, you can set it up simply without having to go too far into uh, all the deviation firmware, which I'll have to sit down and learn a little bit about. Excellent radio. So here's the battery, mod, battery door there. Just has a uh, 2S battery plug there, which you can plug any battery in. Uh, that, well it won't fit a, a big battery in, but it will fit uh, this 950. Uh, have a look on the forums to see what batteries will fit. We also have a USB plug accessible in there uh, for connecting to your PC and uploading and transferring and upgrading firmware and stuff like that. So that's a recent change. So, Alright, as usual, now it's time to uh, program up a model, take it out for a fly, see how it actually works. All right, time to try out the little, uh, oh, I can't remember it, jumper T8SG multi-protocol uh, radio. Turn him on, plug in a battery. So I've set up a uh, throttle cut switch here. No throttle, throttle. Dual rate switch as well on this switch here. That was Pretty easy to set up. Let's go. Nothing wrong with that at all. Feels good. I'm on 50% rates at the moment and that seems to be pretty right. Trim. Trim's in, too far. Lovely playing the old Tiger Moth. This feels like a perfectly usable radio. Gee, the trims just fall right to your fingers too. I like that. I have to go searching around for the trims on the Tyrannus, but that was just perfect positioning. The trims are awesome. <laughs> Fairly coarse steps, I think. Cool little radio. This is with the old Turnergy uh, eight channel ra uh, receiver the on the AFDHS protocol, not the 2A protocol. This is working beautifully. Feels fine in my hands. The strap's getting up a bit, bit of a bit of a wobble in the wind. Donk. Very good. Throttle cut on. Great little radio. Love how slow this Tiger Moth flies. This is a great little radio, works perfectly well, feels, well it's small in the hands but it doesn't feel like a toy, it feels very nice indeed actually. So this is the Jumper T8SG multi protocol radio uh, from Gearbest. If you want to have a look at it yourself there's a link in the description. Great little radio, thanks for watching.